Well, I am from the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, we're not here to talk about the Black Eyed Peas, though. We're here to talk about something that you've been working on for two years. Black Eyed Peas is, is a band I'm in, and this thing I've been working on for two years is a band I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, check that out. <laughs> it's not a watch. Um, it was designed from a fashion perspective, you know, inspired by like bands some... and cuffs you're wearing. Okay. But even the way you put it on, right? Yeah. You put it on like this. Yep. Not through your hand. Uh huh. So similar to this band. Oh. You put it on yeah. like that. Well, what, is, what does this do if it's not a watch? What exactly is this? So it tells time like a watch does. Uh huh. Um, but different from a watch, it has a SIM. And a SIM needs a data plan. Mm -hmm. It makes phone calls without a phone. And emails. Wait, hang on. It makes phone calls without a phone. Yeah. Makes phone calls without a phone, emails, text messages, go on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, count your steps, maps, music streaming built into the operating system. This sounds like everything I've ever wanted in a wearable on my wrist that no one has really come up with yet. Yeah, because if we're saying this thing, you don't need a phone, and that's a, that's a, that's a pretty bold statement because we all love our phones. I love my phone. Right. But there's certain places in culture that we know the, show, the phone should not be there. Like the phone shouldn't be there at the gym. You know that. We know this. You know that it's not ideal to strap it onto your forearm and a wire as your jump rope in. Mm -hmm. You know that's not what it's supposed to be. You know they tell us time and time again not to text when you're driving. We know that. You know you're not supposed to have a phone in the car. Mm -hmm. So for those truly mobile experiences, enters the pulse. Uh -huh. So the thing about the, the, the smartphone or phone is, there's all these power cases that, so one day I was like, how are we gonna power the device? We're just always gonna run into this wall of people wanting more power. Uh -huh. Why can't we have jackets that power the device? Why can't you wear power? Holy what? Power. We need to do pow wear because you wear your power. What, how about that little word play? So we've created jackets and components that when the sleeve touches the device, you have two days power. So what else have you, I've heard that there's maybe a couple other products. Yeah, we created backpacks uh -huh. that are sound uh -huh. and power. We created sole for your shoe that weighs you and count steps. Because right now, people are saying that you count your steps from the wrist, which is cool. Uh -huh. But what good is knowing how many steps and how many calories you burn? How can you actually burn? How can you know what you actually burn if you don't know how much you weigh? Mm -hmm. So we've created soles that weigh you and count your steps. Um, so we have jackets, soles for your shoes, backpacks, and glasses that take pictures just by looking. Tap in the watch, you take pictures. I'm an ideas guy. I come up with ideas. I see that. So this is my question to you because... We all know you as a musician. How did you get involved in tech and wearables and, and I mean, fashion? I mean, it's kind of embedding technology into the fashion industry. So uh, I'm proud to be, have been a part of Beats. And a lot of my ideas were executed inside Beats. Like, hey, let's do headphone deals. And, th and the pushback was, what's a headphone deal? And my response was, what's a record deal? Let's give headphone deals to those who fit, you know, the demo. So we have David Guetta Beats, Gaga Beats, Diddy Beats. That, that all came from that, those brainstorming sessions of ideas. Mm -hmm. So my ideas not, are not just for, you know, wearable. Beats were the first wearable fashion. You wore them even though you weren't listening to music. Mm -hmm. You wore them on your neck like jewelry. Um, but my ideas cross and... Um, I came up with an idea to Coca-Cola to create EcoCycle, which to, you know, my, my pitch to Coca-Cola was, you guys should try to become a verb. If you don't believe that verbs, that company should become verbs, then you should Google it. And so that, that's what led to EcoCycle. EcoCycle is Coke in reverse. And that's what spawned uh, us releasing EcoCycle Cube 3D printers that print in uh, post-consumer plastics. So I come up with ideas. You know, um, and here's an idea that, uh, of mine, and it's, it's my company. And I funded it, founded it, 
And now we're launching uh, this product here at Dreamforce. Tell me more about that. There's going to be, you're opening up the platform so other people can create and put apps like Human, yeah. Salesforce app. So Human is uh, putting Human on the device. Salesforce has an enterprising app. Esri has an awesome Maps app. Mm. That, and that same map plugs into our fitness app. And our, uh, our whole vision behind having these um, mega apps plug into each other. Mm -hmm. uh, maps plugs into contacts. And contacts and maps plugs into calls and SMS. Like SMS my mom when I passed La Cienega and Beverly. Right? Call Polo when I pass Sunset and Vine. Wow. Right? So things like that. So I'll come up with those ideas. Like I was because I, I travel a lot, I, I'm always connected, and I want my, my device to do things that uh, that is not there. So I was like, well, why don't I just do that on my product that I bring to market? Let's let's have all my stuff. I'm a little afraid to ask how much one is might be when you release it to the public. Well, they're not. They're affordable. Okay. An Apple phone, you know, what, 700 without a plan? Uh, Basically, you can have two of these right around that. I wear <laughs> okay. two, right? Okay, yeah. Um, and, and the reason why I wear two is that punk rock, hip-hop, and fashion has told us that this is... This is how people wear things. Uh -huh. If you have something similar, same size on your wrist, yeah. that doesn't do anything. We have one that's gold and black, just like this. Hmm. It's sitting over there in the, in the jewel case. Oh, well, got a message. Somebody just messaged you. I was like, look guys, even though the, the device runs out of batteries, I still want to express myself with it mm -hmm. if I'm not wearing my jacket. Mm -hmm. I also remember you saying something about um, you wish kids would think less about becoming musicians and more about becoming the next Bill Gates? Do you feel like you'll inspire other people by... Yeah, so right now, there's, there's, there's not a shortage of, uh, of musicians, mm -hmm. right? There's no shortage of athletes. Mm -hmm. There's a shortage of uh, engineers, right? And especially in inner cities, right? That's not the first thing in kids' minds, because mm -hmm. I, I want to... I want to bring the market product or I want to create an application. That's not the first thing in kids' minds in inner cities. I'm telling these kids to do that and I'm having a hard time. I got to show them. I can't say it. I have to show them. And I, I see something, I believe something, and I'm going to do it. What's the worst that's going to happen? I've already, got, I've already escaped the ghetto. I can do it again. I'm not, risk, I'm not, I'm not afraid of risking losing money. I'm afraid of risking losing an opportunity to build an awesome future and change these kids' lives in inner cities because we know for a fact they're being neglected. There's no opportunity and no education reform in these inner cities. So today at Dreamforce, I brought one of the kids from our after-school program. She built uh, an app on our platform, and I'm like, wow, super proud of her. Yeah. But more importantly, it's like, look, Cynthia, we come from the same neighborhood. And look, Mark Benioff, and Salesforce takes me seriously, and I take you serious. Come on, we gotta do this ourselves. And that's the, way, that's the reason why I'm doing all this stuff, right? It's a bigger goal for me, bigger dream, something else to accomplish. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you.